Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the wood gas fire I made. So that's the main burn pot right there. That's for my ash right there. So I can sift out the ash. I have six ports, air ports. Three eighths inch holes. And that's where the ash is gonna go. I had all those lasers out. That makes life a lot easier right there. Using a ratchet strap and a little together so I can tack weld that. There's gonna be a four inch nipple on the end right there. Get the ash out at the end. I tack that up with the TIG welder. There's the finished product right there. That's the whole burn unit, that's what does all the work right there. Then I'll put that into a 30 gallon barrel. And I made everything so that I could take it back apart again just in case I needed to fix something. right there ready to go into my 30 gallon barrel and there's the four inch nipple on the bottom side there get my ash out of there real easy Hopefully. There's the barrels going in with a four inch hole. I'm gonna put a one and a half inch pipe for the exhaust port there. Air's gonna get vacuumed out of that hole right there. Got my one and a half inch coupling. And there, I can connect it with my one and a half inch coupling. And then I can weld in my pipe. And I did that the same way with all my pipes. There's all my pipes in now. There's my air intake. There's my ignition port. And that little one on the bottom there, that's for my rod to attach to the ash sifter. My 
ceramic fiber in there. That's one inch ceramic fiber. That should hold a lot of heat in. That's from my wall. And that stuff's really delicate. So I'm gonna put a, some fencing on the inside of that to hold it there. I'll show you that in a minute. There we go, it's all finished. That's my T fitting. The idea is for the air to go around my burn pot and kind of preheat the air going in. That was my thought anyways. And it fits, but it's kind of hard to get my hand in there, but I can do it just barely. lid on there now. Put some ceramic fiber around there too to protect it from heat. Because that gets like 2,000 degrees in there. There's my filter. And that's really, that's just a canvas laundry bag right there. And I'm just stuffing it with straw. And that's gonna filter all those tars out. And I actually ran it once already, but I wanted to show you guys this filter again. It got quite a bit of moisture in there the first time I ran it. Because I think that wood was wetter than I thought. There it is. That's just the pan. That's just the pan with the bottom cut off. Stainless steel pot. There's my cyclone. Filtration there. Pipe's kind of at an angle so it goes around, the air goes around the filter. And I just clamp it right back in there. It worked out pretty well. So put some wood in there. There's my sifter rod there. Just push it in and out. Sift that ash. 
There's my igniter port intake, air intake there. I really just got one, that's all one and a half inch galvanized piping there. Two valves. One's just for the flame there, right there. And the other one is actually would go to an engine. That's my vacuum. I just bought a little vacuum motor from Alibaba, I believe. Look at that, it's just a little thing. It's a little bit bigger than that in the box there, but that's just a vacuum motor. That was like five bucks from China. And it works pretty good. That's a short camo box, and I've got my switches in there, so I can actually use 120 or I can convert it to a battery there I can actually plug it into a battery and that'll work also and I have six or twelve volts if I want more or less vacuum and that's just two inch exhaust pipe right there that's about 20 feet of two inch exhaust pipe and there's that that canister on the bottom that's just my idea of collecting moisture and water. I got a plug on the bottom of that. Okay. So I'm going to try it out. Finally. Tell me one. Oh, I might have started. Let's check. We'll do one more. Looks like it might have lit it up. See what you can see on it. Check it out. See it? Mm -hmm. So what does it do? Okay, let's we'll close it up. It's going to make wood gas, which is hydrogen, nitrogen, methane, carbon monoxide. we got to wait probably a good five minutes. It's got to heat up to about 1800 degrees. So do we just stop the video? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as soon as that's lightable, as soon as we can light that, Isn't that dangerous to light? Then it's a good job. So we can keep checking it. That's it. What is it? Come out. Oh, you see that? Yeah. I'm actually lighting the flame right now. 
but I can't even see it. So I keep messing around for a while longer. But it actually lit up at about the five minute mark. It. See it? Mm-hmm. It's a little bit of brown. It's yellow. Huh? Light it. It's doing it. Light it. Lit. It's on fire. You don't see a fire? Oh yeah, a little bit. Zoom in on that. And I just wanted to give a shout out to this guy who wrote this book. I think it's Ben Peterson. And I would have had no idea where to start without this book right here. Thanks for watching.